we just made it to one of my favorite places the wapula and we're going duck hunting we're hitting the ground running we're going hunting right now right this minute if i can get mary in the truck and if we don't forget everything that we brought we're back with shannon hi shannon yeah hi we're going duck hunting we done made shannon late always you got your wallet i got my wallet do you uh no i don't because i'm going to be using your wallet so that i can get my license mm. very exciting my first time getting to waterfowl hunt down here at bobby mead's place and this was what i wanted to do for the last two years so it's finally happening and i'm stoked can you hit a wood duck first duck of the evening Beautiful hen mallard. Hens only. A beautiful first afternoon sit here in Wapula. I was not on my game for hitting birds, but we still have tomorrow morning. Now we're going to go back and eat some tucker. Bobby has taken us to his special spot with Jen to show us where the birds are roosting. So we've got about eight minutes until they start flying in. Apparently I've got to get ready for a show. When did you actually start doing the duck management here? Well, was, uh, Daddy started while I was even born got me into it. We were small then, we didn't, back in those days, you know, they did big, they used to plant rice and harvest it. Yeah. It was just natural to have ducks, you know. You know, talking two, three hundred acres of rice and they harvested it and you have to hire people to go out there in pots and pans to try to keep the blackbirds out of it, keep, mm -hmm. them, keep them eating up all the rice. You know, I remember when I was little, they would go out there with these, daddy buddies, little uh, aluminum, aluminum pans and the big old iron uh, spoons and they go out around the dikes and hit them and it worked for about two or three days and then they'd light all around them after that. Oh my gosh. You know, it was fun. But uh, they go out and harvest that rice and see and then what was left, the ducks would just come in and there was nothing to see thousands of pintails and, yeah. you know, mallards coming in back then. And then after a while, you know, when the rice thing went down, you know, mm. We just had natural ponds, and the, the water we flooded that hardwoods, and, and the mountains and all started going to the acorns. Mm -hmm. So we shot flooded timber mm -hmm. for years, and then it rediverted the water through the sand tea and dropped our water level down. And that's when we started planting the rice fields and corn, okay. and flooding the corn fields. It's my first morning here at Wapula Plantation and I'm so excited to head out with the boys. Bobby says that this is his favourite spot so if it goes on and it's on fire it's going to be great. And I've got my hot coffee here, Shannon's just arrived. I'm ready to get after it. It's going to be a good morning. It's late to see you, don't know what you're going to do this time of year. You don't have to shoot any damn thing in there. We've never killed a pintail in those holes. There's always a chance your pintail might drop down in there. But I know the, I know the teeth are in there in the wood ducks. <clears throat> so we just have to wait and see. It's always sunny. We just gotta wait and see what comes in there so you can fetch them up. Mary's first morning shooting ducks in the swamp. Shh. Did you hit anything? Hit, I've hit one. I was not expecting Charleston to be 29 degrees, so I'm using my armpits for the hot hits. It's very chilly. It's beautiful in here, though. Absolutely beautiful. I can see why Bobby says this is a special spot, because it really is. It's gorgeous.
that was fun. Felt like I was back home. I love shooting wood ducks in a swamp. <laughs> Quick, boom, 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 done, go eat breakfast. That was a lot of fun. You guys weren't lying when you said it would bring out early. I think I at least hit one this morning, so. I think you had a couple, yeah. <laughs> I definitely shot more than I did yesterday. <laughs> what a blast. It's too bad awesome. this teal came in just a little bit too early. Yeah, that's all right. That was awesome. I didn't realize that we were all wrapped up, but I guess everyone's limited out. Yeah, I think we're close. Perfect. Well, I guess uh, we'll head back and have some breakfast then. That was a great morning. Hey, everybody got a great poop on? Oh, good. I think everybody had a good time eating the dogs. Yep. Yep. Very special spot. Now, one time we were in Arkansas, we walked out there, we didn't realize the waiters were splashing water on our guns. And it froze our, our guns up. None of nobody could open the guns, but I had a thing of hot chocolate and got in the blind. And I said, well, this these are out of nothing. I poured the hot chocolate over it. I got it loose, loosened up. Then it turned into sugar. We got, you know, had sugar in hot chocolate. And then we couldn't, it was, it was, we'd have to shoot it and force it shut because of the sugar in it. Shoot one time, they were all the guns. But it tasted good. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> but at least we got to shoot. <laughs> You know, one for that hot chocolate, we wouldn't have got the shoot. That was cold. Go ahead. <laughs> see you later, buddy. We'll see you out there, Gunner. Go get him. Come Go on. Get him. Him up. Bobby's like South Carolina's version of Jim Shockey out here. <laughs> cruising around in his Argo. Beautiful morning. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And it was everything I thought it would be. So. Well, as always, we have had more than a wonderful time down here at Wapa Ula Plantation. In other words, known as Wapa Ula Plantation. <laughs> I hate to leave, but you're cutting my head off, man. Oh, sorry. There we are. We're headed to the Tampa RV Super Show, and we got a bag full of wood ducks, and we're going to cook them for some people that I'm fairly certain have never ate a wood duck before. Yeah, we're going to bring this wood duck down to the campground and cook it for some of our RV buddies and strangers in the campground. and. See how they enjoy it. Give them a little taste of the outdoors. So, until next time, Wapula. Tell me, Mr. Bobby. Thank you. Love this place so much. Can't wait to see you on. Where are we going place. next, Forrest? Hey, next stop, Florida. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, so we're going over to hang out with our Lippet crew. There is a whole big group of campers heading over and we have got some wild wood duck that we have turned into jalapeno poppers. We're gonna give them a little taste of the outdoors. Ain't no, ain't no pen raised wood ducks. And look who showed up in the camper for this event. Degree. <laughs> yeah, he ain't gonna smell bad. Who else showed up? Forrest Gump. All right, we're going over to party. Out of my way, dog. So we're down here with Lippet at the Florida RV Super Show in Tampa. Ashley is a little jack of all trades over here cooking up some meat. She said we can very kindly borrow her grill because we have prepared some wild wood duck poppers. This is just a perfect way to introduce people to wild game. We've got jalapeno, cream cheese, bacon. It's absolutely delicious and so we're going to cook them up here. Comes with a warning there might be BB still inside of it. We will tell everybody and uh, hopefully we can convert a couple of campers over to the wild side. You know the rednecks have showed up to the RV show and they bring their own duck poppers. We got jalapeno cream cheese duck wrapped in bacon and then I have these which were Mr. Bobby's recommendation. It is wood duck breast wrapped in bacon soaked in Ken's sesame dressing. Now we got Trey Team down here and he's gonna play. He's getting set up over there. Got him a nice cooler to sit on. He's gonna play some acoustic music for everyone. It's gonna be a great night. Yes, I love good corned beef and mustard on my fries. I love a good loud honk it's on the rocks on Friday night. And hell yes, I love my truck, but I want you to know, honey, I love your love most. The duck poppers have been consumed. Delicious. Trey Team is playing some country music in the background. Doesn't get any better than that. I'd say it's been a successful time down here in Tampa, Florida. Until next time, guys. Adios. Thank you guys for listening.